What's cracking YouTube, Jobber here, and I have before you the three brand new, well, three brand new limited holiday edition mystery power boxes from Walmart. So it's kind of funny. I just got done doing a opening of the old holiday boxes that came out last year. Wonder if they're gonna come out with this one. And then literally, as soon as I got done getting that video all edited up and it's on the channel ready to go, I get a message from a friend on Instagram saying, hey, there's a new mystery holiday power box that just dropped at Walmart. I immediately race over to Walmart to see if my Walmart had it because my friend said it was over in New York. So this one, I live in Redding, California, they actually did have them. So here we are, we're gonna be popping this open and then tomorrow you'll be able to see the last year's uh, mystery power box limited holiday edition. You'll see which one you like more. That one gets some graded cards. This one looks like it has like some player's choice sleeves. So you get three booster packs, four duelist pack, one legacy pack, one bonus item, which I'm assuming is the pack of sleeves, but this is a, a 60 count of player's choice sleeves. So I don't know what the one bonus item actually could contain. Uh, look for a hot box containing four legacy packs. All right, so uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, bell, and follow me on Instagram. If you guys enjoy this video and this video reaches 800 likes, I'll give away a booster box or a special edition display box of the newest set. So remember, 800 likes, drop a comment down below, and I'll nuts the winner in the comments of the next video. All right, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Let's see and review what we have here. I'm sorry for the no face cam. My friend and editor was on a little uh, vacation trip and instead of waiting for him to come back, I figured let's just post this thing up raw and see what, uh, what we can pull. Oh, cool. Well, that's neat. A duelist pack, right? Right on, these are neat actually. And this, uh, I don't know what to call these, they're not giant cards, but they're big. I got some pretty big, uh, pretty big hands here. And that covers the whole thing. Blue Eyes White Dragon, how nifty. This will be really, really nice. This could be another card that I will end up signing and giving to one of you guys. That's neat. All right, well, let's see what else we have here. We have one, two, three Duelist Packs. Oh, four. I don't know, I think we're supposed to have four duelist packs. What is the thing at the hot box? Oh, four legacy packs. Ah, that's what that one was for. And then we have the Dragons of Legend 2, the Secrets of Eternity, uh, Order of Chaos. Man, I haven't opened up any of that in a long time. Oh my goodness. And then we have a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster pack that'll go with our <laughs> our Blue Eyes White Dragon. And here is our or here are our player's choice card sleeves. 60 sleeves. These are pretty nice. They're kind of smooth. Unfortunately, my hands, they get like, they kind of sweat when I play. So these ones right here don't work necessarily very well for people that say have sweaty hands. But I was, I was uh, unfortunately told that I'm 5% of the, of the population that has this issue. So you're probably totally fine. And they're really nice sleeves. All right. So let's just pop these things open. We have our Order of Chaos Booster Pack. Let's see. We got the Aqua Armor Ninja XYZ Burst. The Flame Armor Ninja. That's cool. The Sh Shrine of Mist Valley. Huh. Oh, cool. And our first boost pack, we actually ended up getting a foil out of here. The Insector Hornet. And it looks like it's a lot darker. I want to say that this is like a Euro print booster pack because you can tell by the coloring of this card. I mean, it's so much darker than a normal foil. That's awesome though. I played Insectors quite a bit back in the day, so I always have a soft spot for any Insector cards. I love the Insector deck. Then we have our Secrets of Eternity booster pack. Yeah, man, I haven't or opened up any... <laughs> I haven't pulled in a Horner from booster pack in a very, very long time. Oh my gosh. And a Void Launch Super Rare. And this pack was first edition. That's really cool. Right on. Back to back booster packs, back to back hollows. And then we're going to move over to our our Dragons of Legend 2. So we have, what was that? Two booster packs we've opened. So three, four, five, six, seven. Seven packs, eight with that. And a pack of sleeves. It's not bad. Uh, these were over at my Walmart. They were $24.99 each. So this opening, as you can, we before sales tax, would be like $75 basically. 
And the Red Eyes Black Sword Dragon is our Seeker Air. And that's really cool that it was also first edition. I don't know if these packs actually, actually come non-first or not. But either way, I always appreciate it. Over to our... Our duelist pack, Yugi. We have four of these. Got our old school card here. Big Shield Gun. And Spellbinding Circle. And we have a Karibo. One Yellow Gadget. And then the Magical Hat. It's our rare. And that booster pack. And we have the Legendary Buster Blader. Life Force Sword, Spellbinding Circle, Yellow Gadget, and then our rare was the Black Luster Soldier. You got Jack's Knight, Red Gadget, Queen's Knight, Brain Control, and then the Card of Sanctity. That was our rare. No foil as of yet. I'm actually kind of liking these. I mean, it's, I guess it kind of depends on what you want. I mean, getting the Grady cards are cool. But this one, I th think, has more packs. Oh, nice! We ended up getting the Foil Summon Skull. Very cool. Oh, and a rare Dark Magician. This was a loaded booster pack. That was awesome. Wow, really cool. Move that over there. Move those sleeves up here. And don't worry, I did not forget about that Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack up there. We're going to open up uh, all of our Legacy packs at the very end of this video. Save some of that suspense for later. Let's see if we can get all these items out of here. I saw another one of those big cards laid down in here, so that's cool. Let's see what it is. Is it another blue eyes? Is it a dark magician? Another blue eyes white dragon. Cool, maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get that third one that we can palmer them all together for the blue eyes ultimate. And we have our another pack of our player's choice sleeves. Now we have three packs of those so far. And we had another Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack as our legacy pack. Uh, we have the t Volume 2, Order of Chaos, Secret of Eternity. It is exactly, literally, exactly the same as the first one. Okay, well let's open these up. So yeah, that's not bad, honestly. One booster pack, two, three... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packs. One of these, uh, I don't know what to call it. We'll just call it a giant card, even though I know it's not <laughs> a giant card. And then they get a 60 pack of sleeves, which is nice because, you know, I don't know if you guys live near a locals. A lot of people don't live near one. I mean, I live near one, but I mean, if that one went out of business, I would not have a locals nearby me. I'd have to drive an hour to be able to go to my nearest local tournament. So, and you never know, you never know how long they'll, they'll stay in business for. So. Getting a pack of sleeves is nice, not having to order that stuff up. And, you know, I'll say a nice pa pack of player's choice sleeves is like, what, five bucks? And then what are you paying? Four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. 12, 16, 20, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I don't know what you want to value these kind of packs at. I mean, it's not, it's not really that, that bad of a, of a cost, honestly. I mean, like, three dollars a booster pack or something plus you get that big that's a good it's a really good gift actually if you're looking for a gift for your your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your son or your daughter niece nephew whatever <laughs> this is a it's not actually a pretty good gift i mean i would be really happy to have one of these under the tree oh nice we end up getting another Summon Skull Super Rare, and then in this one we end up getting it with a Black Luster Soldier. Very cool. Some of these classic, some of the, it's, the, this is also nice because it has a nice little mix of like classic cards, kind of like these ones right here. Sword of Revealing Light, Life Force Sword. Oh, nice. The Sorcerer of uh, Dark Magic Super Rare, and then a Monster Reborn. Both these cards are pretty classic, especially that Monster Reborn came from the first set to ever be created, which is right above us, the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that is really cool. We've got a Catapult Turtle here, King's Knight, Spellbinding Circle, Sword to Revealing Light, and then Marshmallow. And this came from the original Premium Pack 1, and it was a secret rare. When it first dropped, people were buying that card out for $50 a piece. 
Can you believe that? Sword of Revealing Light, Buster Blader again, Big Shield Guard, a Queen's Knight, and the Magical Hat. Very cool. All right, for our third, this one seems to be uh, a little bit beat up. A little dented up and everything. But our third and final mystery holiday edition power box. Let's see what is inside. Maybe, maybe we're just going to get a triplets here. So all of them are going to be absolutely identical. I, honestly, I'm okay with. But it'd be kind of cool on video here to be able to get a, something a little bit different than what our other ones were. Let's see if it'll happen. It did not. Oh, we do have that. <laughs> the last pack that was rolling around in there was the Legend of Blue Eyes pack. So we end up getting a third Blue Eyes White Dragon. So all we need now is a giant polymerization to make our Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Three Legend of Blue Eyes packs. We got our three Player's Choice sleeves. We got another one of the Dragons of Legend 2 booster packs. We have four of the Duelist Yugi packs. Order of Chaos and the Secrets of Eternity. I'm sure these are different and from state to state. Like I said, the, the friend that messaged me told me about this was in New York when they bought one of them. So I know they're over there, at least over in New York, and I'm sure that the, the contents that are inside are totally different. And a catapult turtle, and we have a block luster ritual. Very nice for brain control and exchange. Cool. Into our second booster pack. Let's see what we have here. Jack's nice spellbinding circle, red gadget, Buster Blader, and a card of sanctity. Over to our fourth and final booster pack of one of these. And I will be doing another one of these openings. Again, I'll, I'll swing by one of my Walmarts and I'll try to, you know, get it all edited up nice, face cam, the whole kit and caboodle. Just kind of want to get this video up. So I was really excited. I got kind of anxious. This thing sitting, had these things on my uh, <laughs> my kitchen since yesterday. So I figured, it's you know what? It's time to pop these things open today. Oh, that's cool. A really pretty looking secret rare. Gorgeous. And we have our Order of Chaos booster pack. Very old. That's awesome. Actually, being able to open up three of these packs after so such a long period of time, me not opening it. And again, this booster pack feels like it is a Euro print pack, and I would be willing to bet money that it is. And we had another super rare out of it. Wow, that's awesome. And it's definitely a Euro print super rare. I can just tell by like you can just feel it when you're going through the cards. They have their own little bit of a te different texture to the card. And Secrets of Eternity. Let's see what we get. No foil out of our last booster pack there. Now we have three Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster packs. Those are awesome. They have some very, very iconic cards. Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and obviously Exodia, the Forbidden One. And you got some really awesome cards in here like Raigeki and Dark Hole. Those are some very iconic cards. Oh, I actually forgot that the Mystical Sheep number two was in here. And we have our uh, Warrior number one. It was Songan. Oh my gosh, there's so many vanillas in here. The Great Soldier of Stone, the Drooling Lizard. This card looks like uh, those little fireballs that are in the Final Fantasy game. Yumi and the Mammoth Graveyard. Very cool. Love seeing all these like classic cards like that. Over to our second Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster pack. Wasteland. <laughs> Dark Gray. Okay. Oh, Spirit of the Harp. 2000 defense normal monster. Very good. They release a. A lot of, well, mostly normal monsters in the original set to make it nice and easy for people to be able to figure out how to play the card game without making it all super complex and overwhelming for other people that are trying to learn. Very smart move on Konami's end. All right, for our last booster pack here, guys, let's see what we get. Basic Insect, the Dragon Stretch. Oh my gosh, the left leg of the Forbidden One <laughs> Ultra Rare. Wow, what a way to end the video with a limb of the Forbidden One. 
Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Let's sleeve this thing up. Wow. How incredibly lucky is that to be able to pull a ultra rare Exodia limb from one of the th one of the three LOB booster packs that we had. Wow, that is nuts. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I honestly think these are a great buy. I think this is I mean, if, unless you want the graded cards, then it's not the best. But out of the holiday boxes, I think this is the best holiday box that they've had so far, which is the second one. But I really like it. We got a ton of booster packs. We pulled a ton of beautiful foils, as you can see right here. I mean, I honestly don't have any complaints about this thing at all. And again, like I was saying, I would love to have one of these under the Christmas tree. I think this is a great gift. You know, people that want to do do collecting, you got sleeves to be able to sleep up your cards. Even if you don't want to be a collector, you just want to get some more cards to add to your collection to be able to upgrade your deck. You know, for your deck, you need sleeves, and you got sixty, you got a sixty pack of sleeves right here, and then you get this really cool large blue eyes white dragon that comes with it. This is something cool you could just like, if you wanted to, just like hang on your wall, put on your shelf, lay there on your desk. Really, really neat. I, I'm a big fan of blue eyes. It's my all-time favorite card. Player choice sleeves is one of the personal pro picks for players that are very very popular sleeves i everybody almost everyone that i know uses players choice sleeves unless you have sweaty palms like i get unfortunately they're dry right here but sometimes you know when you're just holding on to things they just start getting a little bit sweaty and these these sleeves are very very smooth so it doesn't work very well with people that get sweaty palms so uh, other than that you are golden really really cool i really like these power boxes if you're over there at your walmart you got an extra 25 dollars you want to drop on one of these you get this you get this pack of sleeves you got like what eight boosters packs and then you get these one of these cool cards i really enjoyed it hope you guys did as much as i did give this video a thumbs up subscribe bell follow me on instagram say hi if you want to and drop a comment down below if the video reaches 800 likes i'll be giving away a booster box of the newest set or basically anything you really want all right jobber here signing out